So guys, I just got done slicing. Now I'm going to wash. This is the liver and what happens is I always put it last after this has stayed on fire for some time because this always gets smashed. So I'm going to put it back there and then I'm going to add salt. has already started boiling not really boiling because I did not add water so, but I want that water to first drain off yeah so there it is just the sauce and salt on it so as that stays on fire let me slice my onions and my tomatoes as well remember that we are, we are not adding a lot of spices as well some tomatoes and some garlic here just to give it some aroma but remember we've not added the tomatoes yet so we're also going to add the garlic already And then stir it a bit. Perfect, guys. You can notice that there's the water has actually all drained off. So it's the right time to add my tomatoes as well. And then we're also going to leave the tomatoes here to get ready first. Before I can get back. Perfect guys, our tomatoes are actually ready as you can see. I hope you still remember that our liver we've not yet added and I told you the reason. So this is the right time because we are going to add now the water which is going to be the soup guys. So. Because the chicken seems soft, I'm not going to add a lot of water. So that one will do. Then of course I'm going to add in the liver. So you can notice how oily the chicken was. You can see the oil on top of that. Like it's floating. So right away I'm going to cover it and leave it boil real hard and it gets ready there. Then I'm going to show you what follows. So guys, I want you to have a look at the soup. As you can notice, the meat is almost starting to go off from the from the from the bones, indicating that our chicken is almost ready. Actually, it's ready. I can say. a little bit right that will do so 
So let, let me just leave the salt to mix properly, then we carry it off. And then, of course, we're going to add our peanut butter already, guys. Ah, my eyes are suffering, as you can tell. This is the reason I don't like cooking inside. You've noticed I always cook from out, but today it's kind of cloudy, so I fear rain. And that's the reason I'm actually cooking indoor. So, guys, like I told you, our chicken is actually ready. And what is going to make this chicken soup really, really, really special and very different is right here, guys. This right here is peanut butter. So I'm going to add this peanut butter into my sauce and definitely it's going to give it a very, very unique taste that you have never had it before. That I'd really want you to try it out if you can, guys. <laughs> Remember my, my feet. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this. So you just mix it gently. Remember the meat is soft, so if you do it roughly, it's definitely going to smash the meat. to make the soup very thick but mine is not yet to the good uh, thickness that I want so I'm going to just add it a little bit right there we go So let's leave it on fire just for like some five minutes before we can carry it off. Right here guys, so our sauce is actually ready. Mm. So you can see how hard it boils. And yeah, the soup thickens actually more when it boils. So guys, here we are. I have here oh my god just see how this thing is looking guys this is chicken you won't just believe it it is not your usual kind of chicken you know and of course my favorite part is this one right here so guys I'm going to eat this and this there we go Let me hold it something down, otherwise I might end up pouring my sauce already. Ooh. On point, guys. Oh, I'm this good in the kitchen, I never knew. <laughs> Butter. Right away, I am off to cook my cassava, because you can serve this with cassava or with potatoes or... To your test but personally i love it with cassava guys otherwise thanks a lot for watching oh.
I can't wait to eat already. You want to join me? Please join already. I'm out. <laughs>